Yeah, Toby Benson filled in last week, but now the band's back together, baby. Partners like Kirk and Spock or Butch and Sundance or the Seven Dwarves and Snow White before she woke up. Are you ready for some good news? For those of you who are still awake, doctors in Texas have developed a blood test that could significantly improve the treatment of depression. A team at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center's Center for Depression Research and Clinical Care has developed a simple finger prick blood test capable of measuring a patient's level of C-reactive protein, or CRP. The team's research found that doctors who prescribed medication for patients with depression based on their CRP levels were more likely to choose a treatment that yielded positive results. Medication can be part of an effective treatment for depression, but choosing which medication is right for a particular patient can be extremely difficult. By identifying a biological marker capable of accurately guiding that choice, the UT Southwestern team may have just opened the door for depression treatments to be far more successful in the future. This research is published in the journal Psychoneuroendocrinology. Next up, a team of American and German researchers has identified the source of a common form of a fascinating and important physical phenomenon, magnetic reconnection. Oh, you're up. Momentarily. Magnetic reconnection occurs when the magnetic field in plasma rearranges itself, releasing energy in the process. This can cause solar flares and disrupt Earth's magnetosphere, so it's apparent why we'd want to better understand and predict it. Now, a team from the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory and the Max Planck Institute of Plasma Physics has identified the source of a particularly fast kind of reconnection. The team observed that electron pressure along the plasma's magnetic field lines seemed to accelerate the process, preventing the buildup of electrical current that could disrupt reconnection. Armed with this crucial insight, the team created a model capable of predicting when reconnection would occur. The ability to accurately predict reconnection would help to minimize disruptions of communication systems and electrical grids caused by magnetic disturbances, among other practical applications. The paper on this research is published in the journal Physical Review Letters. You ever notice how none of these stories are about a new cure for cat insomnia? I don't think they're working on that, probably for the same reason why people in the desert aren't working on new ways to manufacture sand. Anyway, finally, a new nanotechnology could provide the basis for the next generation of water purifiers. Researchers at the Rochester Institute of Technology are developing a new form of water filtration that uses single-walled carbon nanotubes, which are essentially rolled up pieces of graphene. The nanotubes are approximately 50,000 times smaller than the average width of a human hair, and when used to cover the surface of a thin paper, they form a powerful absorbent. Carbon nanotubes are naturally hydrophobic, so when immersed in water, they only absorb contaminants, not water molecules. While they have been used for some time as a part of fuel cell research, this is the first significant study where carbon nanotubes have been applied to water filtration technology. Today, it's an innovative experimental application. Someday soon, it could be an essential tool for responding to environmental disasters. The study is published in the journal Environmental Science Water, Research and Technology. A simple blood test could significantly improve the way doctors treat depression, scientists figure out how to predict magnetic reconnection, and research using carbon nanotubes could lead to the next generation of water filters. That's the good news. Adi, wake up. Oh, I'm sorry, did I disturb you? Hey folks, <laughs> thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it worthwhile. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. 
And also, please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.